Okay, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing something quick and simple. Uh, we're going to be making our custom interface like the way I have it. And I'm going to tell you how to save it in your in your ZBrush. So it's quick and easy. So when you open your ZBrush, it's going to be uh, this, press comma. Uh, usually, if you load uh, something editable, you're going to see what you have in your custom one. I have all these buttons over here, the brush or the brushes down. So for this, uh, you go to Preferences and Configuration. And the, you should be watching right now the standard user interface, that is this one over here and uh, it's pretty easy to uh, make your own one so for example you go here uh, configuration and you are going to put over here enable customize once you do that you're able to drag and drop whatever you want so for example me I have uh, the brushes that I use the most over here so for dropping the brushes uh, it's pretty simple but you have to drag it from a specific part because if you want to drag from here over here it's not going to happen so you have to go over here on the, under the brush um, uh, here and then you press this one over here so you can load them over here so for me I use the standard one so what you have to do is you click alt and control and you drag it control and alt uh, I use clay too I use uh, on that side of the screen a standard clay, clay build up, pinch and if pinch over here and down is uh, the dynamic ones that I have Remember, we're pressing uh, Control and Alt when we are dragging down. Okay. Um, I have a few materials over here. Uh, you can do that too. We're going to do that in a minute. Uh, if you don't see something over here, then you can go and load a brush. You can go over here and you load uh, move. Once you load it, it's going to appear on your right side. Drag it. Uh, just like click it and it's going to be here you, you cannot drag it from here it's from here so you drag it over here and um, it's pretty easy it's, uh, how to do that if you press uh, something like the masking like what I did you can drag it from here control C or you can drag it from here this one is better because you can have uh, more space because they are smaller you know mask with the pen mask with the lasso topology I believe I have that one too uh, snake hook this is a pretty fun one uh, slash like Guns and Roses the smooth we don't have to do that uh, because we have it on the quick uh, uh, release uh, uh, shift we, we just press uh, shift and that's it Groove tooth snap, excellent for doing eyelash uh, pupils and uh, lines with a little bit of uh, volume polish. Polish is good. It's going to be among this way, these ones over here. And now you're going to notice that I have here uh, size and relax uh, things that I use when I import something into the canvas and I want to size it right away so I go to deformation and I just grab it like a control alt and then just drag it there you go size and uh, relax there you go easy right uh, what else um, I have here on top what I use the most uh, sometimes I use um, this is for colorizing, uh, mirror is another deformation, so I go and mirror, control alt, mirror, and duplicate, uh, duplicate is going to be on top, 
so when you are uh, it's gonna be under the soft tool and then you get it here control duplicate there you go duplicate uh, we have a mirror weld that's gonna be under deformation uh, let me see should be somewhere over here if not we have to remember where it is you know should be under sub tool probably then we go on to sub tool um, geometry under topology so under topology I have a lot of these ones here control alt I have delete hidden when we hit something close holes so it closes the holes when uh, you have a you delete something mirror welt there you go uh, what else what else do we use close holes merge down there you go merge down it's under soft tool merge merge down there you go you can drag it even if it's gray out and uh, split hidden split hidden it's gonna be under split under under the soft tool palette split hidden this always is like delete split hidden lazy mouse that's a pretty cool one struck lazy mouse there you go then you activate it back face masking that's a pretty cool one it's gonna be under brush I believe and uh, modifiers auto masking back face masking this is when you are like uh, working on a pretty thin surface surface and you wanna um, um, for example if I draw a plane okay I'm gonna turn this one off I'm gonna select this one and turn this one off or I believe it's better explained with the different uh, tool that is gonna be a cube let's select the cube turn this one off so let's make this pretty thing with W shift um, and we're gonna start moving till it's pretty pretty thin okay so if you use Q let's use a standard brush with the intensity uh, draw size and an intensity of 100 you're gonna see in the back you're gonna get a hole right so if you are doing stuff like that control C and you don't want that to happen you just go on back face masking there you go you can be deforming just uh, this part of the of the palm mesh of the face of the of your tool without worrying about making something in the back you know okay let's continue well, let's click this one uh, colorize all this is gonna be fill object that is gonna be for when you are uh, colorizing your stuff and it's gonna be usually under poly paint control alt colorize and uh, the other fill is gonna be under color fill object always put it together you know so you know it is supposed to be together uh, what else do we have mirror mirror is under deformation we grab it oh we already have it if you don't want it this is another advice okay so now what do, what do we do you just drag it into the canvas and it's gone there you go so it's so easy it's what I told you you know uh, dynamesh zero measure so those ones are under sub tool uh, geometry I mean 
Dynamish is one pretty nice thing to have. Way better, makes our lives better. Zero measure. I'm pressing Alt and Tab to uh, switch between uh, windows if somebody is wondering how I'm doing this. Okay. What else did I do? A group masked, out of groups. So for that uh, masking. So we're going to go. Should be something over here. Or under groups. If it's not here, it should be polygroups. Group masked. And out of groups. Another useful one, it is uh, under, let me see, colorize back face masking, fill up, get clear, clear is one that I like a lot because sometimes it tells you that the mask is not clear and you clear everything and you know uh, what to do, then you go on masking, clear, clear mask, so you put it over here. So when it says that, that you cannot uh, do something because you have to clear the, ma the mask first, uh, it's because of that, you know? Pretty much, uh, this is it. Uh, close holes, delete higher and lower resolution. It's under geometry. Uh, you have here the delete lower. and lit high resolution there you go there you go I just moved it to the other place and then back and that's it so pretty much that's it and uh, once you ha you have everything you want in the brushes in the uh, whatever you use the most uh, for me too, I modify the right side, you know, uh, the zoom and the scroll, I don't use it, so I just like drag it out, drag it out, uh, drag, I use left whatever I use the most, so this one out, this one out, perspective, I like it, the floor, I, I use it, local, I use it, symmetry, frame and uh, you can add something some more stuff you know all this is located under transform you know so I use transparent control alt transparent a lot I use uh, pivot pivot I use it when I I want something to have a symmetry and it's not a center you know what else draw move scale and rotate I don't use it and use usually they are over here and I took it away because uh, I, ha I have the quick uh, keys that is Q W E R you know and if I don't program myself to be um, using that I'm slowing myself you know it's better if you do something with the shortcuts so it's for me it's kind of saying like you know what dude you have to better get used to learning your T is edit Q is draw quick sketch I hate uh, sometimes to to press that one so that's why I took it away and uh, what else can I say the colors I have the sliders in different color blue this one is yellow you can go preferences uh, uh, interface palettes I believe it's going to be somewhere over here. Let me remember. It's been a long time. Eye colors here. 
and in the colors uh, you have the user interface colors and you can save the colors that you want uh, for the every slider for whatever you want the text I just changed the the yellow one uh, but you're welcome to try and fix whatever you want but uh, one recommendation make your user interface uh, this dark because uh, in the long run is better for your eyes I found that out uh, when I was using AutoCAD I was putting like a very bright interface and somebody came to me and, t and told me like you know what dude uh, it's better for you if you work under a dark uh, interface because it it's it's not a uh, very bright one is gonna hurt your eyes in the long run you know so you don't want to be like using uh, glasses too soon or having to, uh, uh, your eyes you know stress because of the user interface you use and more if you're working for hours a day and you want to make this uh, a living so start with some basics and and things that make easy your life you know so once you have all that and you have uh, the way you want it you go under configuration and save your user interface once you saved it you store it and once you store it every time a ZBrush it starts it's going to start with uh, the interface that you that you that you uh, designed for yourself and for your for your best um, uh, performance you can be moving around and stuff maybe you like the uh, brushes on top this on below so that's it that's it it's so easy um, I hope you have liked uh, this tutorial uh, uh, custom uh, your, your interface just make it custom um, any questions and comments please let me know Thank you for watching this channel. Uh, this was uh, customizing your user interface in C Rush.